Oh my gosh, can you see it is raining? It looks beautiful out here. So, as y'all can see by the title, I am headed to go get my second HSG test before going and taking medication next month um, as far as like fertility medication. So I am excited, guys. I have been praying nothing but good news. Um, hold on, guys. I gotta put y'all down real quick. Hold on. Uh, oof, okay. So I'm excited guys because I have been literally praying for nothing but good news while doing this test. Hold on. Ugh, trying to get all my stuff taken off real quick. So oh you can see my double chin. Don't look guys. <laughs> no, but yeah guys, I've been praying for nothing but good news um while I do this test. I, I know everything's gonna be okay, so I'm really excited. I'm just more nervous because, you know, if you've had this test before, you know it is not the most comfortable test to have done. So I'm more nervous about the pain because last time I think I took a tramadol and Tylenol before I went. Guys, I was in such a hurry today with work and everything, I have not taken anything. So I'm a little nervous, but I'm very excited for the good news. And I can't wait until next month. I feel like this year is bringing me a lot of abundance and um, answering prayers. So I'm really excited, guys. Uh, but yeah, I'm headed over there right now, guys. I'm going to stop recording right now because it is raining out here. And, you know, once the littlest bit of rain happens, people forget how to drive. So I'll uh, start recording again once I'm in there. Hey guys, okay, so to make it short and sweet, I know the video kind of cut off. I was gonna have my HSG test and then it kind of just stops. So, what happened was the doctor was having a really hard time uh, with putting the catheter into my cervix, and it was just guys, it was just a freaking show, man. Like, if y'all ever had this test, y'all know you are spread eagle, you are everyone could see your business, okay? Um, so you're already in a very, uh, vulnerable position. And then the doctor was like getting frustrated cause he couldn't do what he had to do. Long story short, they canceled it, rescheduled it, but gave me medication to take to help dilate my service. So that's the videos you're going to see now. Okay, bye. Hey guys, I'm back. It is, uh, let's see, 7.30 right now, and I'm going to get ready to head into work. Drop me off my oldest at school. Um, but I just wanted to update y'all on how I'm feeling before the procedure. So I took the medicine. Y'all saw me eating. I wasn't talking because I was so, like, just half asleep, just wanting to hurry up and get something in my stomach so I could take the medicine. Um, how I'm feeling now is the medicine, like, kicked in quick, guys. And I don't know if it was just me, but I felt like <coughs> after I took it... I got really, really cold, like, and I was shaky, um, and I was trying to go back to sleep, but I just couldn't, like, I could not fall back to sleep, but I was cold and shaky, and then, um, I started, the cramps started really bad, and I was like, oh, shit, so, 
the cramp started and i'm still having them they kind of feel like um they remind me of just really really heavy bad period cramps like i'm talking about the ones where your whole stomach hurts your hips hurt your back hurts it's those kind and it's just really intense and it hurts so that's how i feel this is my experience you know if y'all have taken this before in the past and you didn't feel the same way i mean i guess you just got a higher tolerance to me but yeah that's how i feel guys and i didn't realize i was gonna feel this bad <laughs> and i'll have to go into work for them like this so uh, my procedure i'm gonna leave work at two and then my procedure's at three um, but i gotta check in early and everything like that so um yeah guys so i'll keep you updated and then i'll record i'm gonna try to take my phone into the uh like when they're doing the procedure but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to guys the last time i know they didn't let me so we'll see what happens this time guys hey guys so i am getting out of work right now it is 203 i need to be there by 240 guys when i say that that medication they gave me has been making me cramp so bad throughout the whole freaking day not only that i've been shaking like crazy hold on a second there's someone walking over here hold on someone right there anyways it's horrible guys it's horrible for me it is that's how i feel um but yeah guys i'm gonna head home real quick i'm gonna take a quick little rinse before i go in and then i will keep it updated okay guys i just pulled up oh my gosh my hair looks like a mess man i gotta put on my mask because they are still doing mandatory mask over here i was gonna take some tylenol before i came but i completely forgot so I still got a little bit more time, so I'm gonna take some excedrin. Oh my gosh, I don't have anything to drink. Oh well, forget it. We're just going, we're just going in. Okay guys, like I said, I'm gonna get you as much footage as I can. Um, and then yeah, and then we'll kind of just go from there. We'll see what happens guys. Hopefully this will work, hopefully this time so Okay, guys, my hair looks crazy. Okay, good news, guys. Uh, my tube is open. So the uh, radiologist, he was the sweetest doctor, you guys. Um, hold on, let me get some AC on, guys. It is freaking hot in here. Okay, he was so sweet, guys. The first doctor I had, he was um, an older doctor, and he was also very nice, great bedside matters, uh, manners. The second doctor I have... Um, had where you know where the procedure couldn't go through he was nice um he was on the he was a very he was a young doctor i could tell he was really young um and i feel like he wasn't as patient this doctor was so sweet he went over my history um made small talk with me made me feel extremely comfortable um kind of talked his way you know everything he was doing he was so professional um, and then he even turned it turned the um, like little screen monitor monitor at me so I could watch the the dye going through 
um, and he was like, it looks open, it looks great, like, you know, best best of luck on your journey here. Um, it was so good, guys. Like, the, I'm telling you, when you have this done, like, the doctor, the experience, um, how they can be makes it that much better because it's uncomfortable, you know, the position you're already laying in, um, everything they have to do down there to your cervix and stuff, and stuff it's painful. So it really does help out a lot when you have a good doctor. So I'm excited, guys. I cannot wait until next month. We get to finally start everything. We are ready. I'm beyond ready. Um, he told me, guys, before he even did it, he was like, um, for a second there, I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to move forward with it. And I was like, oh, my gosh. He told me after the fact. He's like, your cervix is, is really small. He's like, um, you know, even after the medicine you took, he's all, even after you having your fingers crossed, he's all... I wasn't a hundred percent sure if we were going to be able to move forward with it, but he, he, you know, he tried, he tried, he got it in. Um, it was painful, but you know what guys, um, I'll take that couple of minutes of pain to know exactly what's going on because it, it doesn't last forever. It's, it's really painful, but it doesn't last forever. So yeah, guys, I'm excited. Thank y'all for tuning in and, um, for being with me on this journey still guys. I know it feels like it's never ending, but I feel like I'm that much closer to what we really want. And I can't wait guys to take you on we, with everything with next month, you know, as far as, uh, starting the medication and everything like that guys. So yeah, I'm excited. I love you guys. Peace, love, and happiness. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye. <music>